um, more than 42 percent of our population cover the population of our children in Nepal. And what we consider our children? Uh, children in Nepal are considered as just the future of this country, not the present. Really, future of this country, but not the present. And guess what? That word future is just limited in word, talk, and in a paper. And you know what? 37, more than 37% of our population, more than 37% of our girls are getting married before the age of 18. More than 16 lakhs children are introducing themselves as a child labor. Now what? Blame the government? Of course not. That's not what we do. Being today a generation, we rather chose to support our government. Support in sense, not making bills and passing them. Support in sense means that we help them to make sure and ensure child rights on those bills. Uh, so that's how we started breaking the barriers, being ourselves a children. Well, uh, I was just 11 when, uh, when I unknowingly became a child rights activist and a feminist. When I encountered one of my friends who was not able to go to a school just because she was a disabled kid, differently able kid. And at the same time, when I uh, noticed a few children working in a uh, hotel, Restaurant is a child labor. And these two incidents like, kind of hit me and uh, made me think so deep that I started thinking, what's the difference between they, their children and me? And st I started asking for solution. And you know what? As a solution, the only answer I get was government. And I started asking everyone, who is this government? Where is he? Where is he hiding? Why is he hiding? And again, as a nearest government, I got to know our nearest government was municipality and VDC. First of all, I went there and then I talked with the concerning authorities. They were like, they did not care about my voice because maybe I was a single person going there and then uh, when I was not heard, I thought of making a child club and I started by making a child club, founding a child club and started uh, my formal career as a child rights activist as a founder president of Ekata Bal Club. I again went to uh, the municipality, but the difference at this time was uh, I was not alone. And this time, they heard us. They heard our voice because we were representing more than 21,000 boys. And this time, the response was quite good as well, and they promised to help our, you know, uh, concern helped us. And then uh, at, the very t at the very time, uh, Nepal government introduced and uh, adopted the uh, concept of child-friendly local governance in 2068. So what is this concept? What is this child-friendly local governance? It simply means that providing every children a friendly and safe environment and mainstreaming the children's right in the local structure, process, and policy of local government. And it's also about offering children with plan, budget, ensuring their meaningful participation in decision-making process, and giving them an ear to hear their voice and problem. And all, it is also about the platform which, you know, uh, together brings all the stakeholders in the same platform for a novel cause. Uh, now, uh, this, became, uh, the, this became the, you know, uh, my formal starting of doing something exceptional. And then I thought of dream, I thought of starting something, uh, d doing something different, and I dreamed of making my city, Sunwal Municipality, Nepal first child-friendly municipality. And I started working, and that's how I started breaking the barrier. And then this time, uh, I started working by making a child club, because only one child club was not enough. And then uh, we gathered all the stakeholders, all the political parties, all the community networks, women's club, child club together, in a same platform for the first time in the history for a noble cause of making one city a child-friendly city. Now what? We started working by orienting them and orienting our ourselves about rights, responsibilities, and child-friendly local governance. And you know what? Whenever I used to go to my villages, awareing people, they used to say that, oh, Futsi, porna jaya har baru. Pori wani kei pragati gaur sa. Esari kei gudena. Ani, tinyaag, like, kei tha, mero em, 
त्यो स्टडीज अनि त्यो एसएलसी मा मात्र डिस्टिंक्सन हान्ने थिएन मेरो एम त लाइफ मा डिस्टिंक्सन हान्ने थियो अनि द नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट सेन्टेन्स आई अलवेज युज टु हियर वाज माउ भन्दा चल्ला बाटो बट हु केयर्स यू नो एन्ड आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग विथ मोर देन 150 चाइल्ड क्लब बीइंग द फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट अफ म्युनिसिपल चाइल्ड क्लब नेटवर्क अफ सुनवल and now what we started stopping more than 100 child marriages even we have the story of stopping and you know returning back the dula without dulai from the mandap <laughs> and then we um, even minimized 30 child labor from uh, from th- from different you know restaurant and cafes and we trained all the hotel owners in cooperation with hotel management committee and transportation management committee and then uh, we made the provision of making different child cell in every you know police station of our city and this was the first time we were doing in nepal and then the word menstruation became very familiar in the school and in the house to talk about and uh, menstruate for, uh, in the uh, school in every school there were the provision of providing sanitary pads for free for our uh, girls including me and then our school manners and committee started started calling us for uh, school management committee meeting as well and then uh, health management committee started calling in meeting and there was kind of competition you know between the uh, cso's and then uh, government structure who who is going to call children first in the meeting of you know in order to address their problem and we were like getting you know priority over the sobli bal dira cha yaar kind of and then uh, uh, we were like making sure that every structure of our government offices and then our even our one house our schools are getting child friendly and disable friendly so for a while let's get back to our home do you have do we all have our home child friendly our structure of our home child friendly do we have our water filter matching the height of our kids do we have a small sleeper for our kid in our restrooms and do we have a door lock matching the height of our kids most importantly are we spending our time with our kids if we are doing so then we are doing it being just as a parents or being their friends and if we are doing this as a friend then we must be familiar with the dream of our kids right and if we are doing this then yes you guys are being the champion of your children and then uh, at this time uh, you know I started working as a, a I I became a national uh, na- founder treasurer of National Child Club network also I started working nationally as well as we have more than 23000 child clubs in Nepal and every children today are aware about their budget they plan for their own budget they plan for the expenditure of their budget presenting their plans in the uh, planning making process and decision making process they started making our government accountable they means we started and then after doing all these things uh, the criteria to become child friendly local government city was we got a work on 39 indicators and 16 steps and finally we did that and my dream when i saw that dream when i was 11 was you know i was getting near to my dream and finally we got declared as the nepal first child friendly city on june 15 2015 now what else do i need i was like i won whole world and at the same time uh, i started dreaming for something different i you know uh, i know the feeling of living a dream and then i started dreaming another dream that uh, i got a dream in my eyes of making our country nepal a child friendly country and then uh, what i got what we got in return after being declared a child friendly country wo- uh, sorry child friendly city was uh, for the first time in the history of uh, history of municipalities we got the proposal of uh, joining sister city relationship with the municipality of brazil named arapiraca and a child friendly movie named jyoti was made in our city on the real story based on my life and my friends life i mean my team life you know and then uh i my, i myself were, was called to give feedback on the draft of constitution of nepal and in return we got 
the best and child-friendly constitution in the history of Nepal. And child right was, uh, child, uh, child right today is known as the fundamental rights of children. And then every time I, you know, uh, I go uh, in different type of like different villages, different cities to give training to parents, to children, to teachers, and they always ask me, what do you get in return? And I always say them, a dream, a history, self-satisfaction, a surety of being Sukhi Nepali of Samriddha Nepal someday for sure. And yesterday we used to broke barriers and today we are winning hearts. This is what I got. And today uh, be, I am already 19 and I have a dream of making my nation, my country, totally a child-friendly country. It's a dream about standing in front of UN General Assembly and introducing Nepal, not just as a country of Gautam Buddha or Mount Everest, but a country having a different identity and that is child-friendly country. And that is how I am breaking barrier. Sometime I broke barrier being just a child and working in a child club. Sometime, sometime I broke barrier living a dream and again, I am breaking barrier having, by having another dream in my eyes. And uh, child-friendly local governance, making Nepal child-friendly is first priority for me. And another dream I have dared to see is to be a first female lady prime minister. Sorry, first female prime minister of Nepal. Someday, let's see what happens. But then this is my dream. And I am kind of stubborn about my dream. And I feel like I can do it. Because is it just a name, number, you know? And you were a kid, you were a teenager, so what? You can do beyond your S, beyond your studies, and beyond the four wall of your house. And um, after all, Balwali ka ani kisor kisori bani ko samasya ko pratik matra hoi na samadhan ko pratik ko. Ra Balwali ka haru ra kisor kisori bani ko agi asis daile bani bani sakun bayo hami oru bani ko paribaratan ko samvaha ko. Tesile, Hamili Amber Nazaria Bodalotini Harupratiko, De Safe Bodalinsa. And uh, last but not the least, I would like to leave the stage with a request to you all. Let's start, uh, you know, spending time with our kids. That's the solution for every problem that is increasing day by day in Nepal. Let's be a part of their dream. At least, let's believe in their passion. And most importantly, let's be the champion of our children. After all, every child needs a champion to be a champion. Thank you.